welcome back to my channel. I can't believe it's already 2018. How excited are you guys? I'm very excited. Um, so anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I'm planning for 2018 and for the month of January. I realized last year I hadn't been putting as much effort as I should have in my videos. So this year, I'm definitely going to be um, putting much more effort into it and just going all out as much as I can and with the amount of time that I have just to give you guys the best content that I can because I know I have it in me. I just haven't put my mind to the task yet. So that also means that I want to be more artistic in my bullet journal um, because I am a designer for my job and I wanted to cater my bullet journal more to my specific needs which I was kind of doing last year but then I realized I wasn't even using my bullet journal sometimes so it was kind of pointless to make a spread and then not use it. So everyone actually should be doing that, catering it to your specific needs and that's what I think everyone's goal should be this year is to cater to their needs. So on the next few pages, I'm writing out my 2018 future log, and I love this style. I think I also found it on Pinterest or Instagram or something, um, but I love the style because it's very clean and minimalist, and then I can also add um, like ink-drawn florals around it, and I just like that idea of filling up the space because I kind of do that already, like that's what I do um, in my artistic mind, I guess. Um, and I've been trying to find out what my, not what my theme is, but what my specialty is. And I think I'm just going to go with whatever comes to my mind and not try to emulate, I guess, other people's work, which you can do. There's nothing wrong with that. But I think for me, I've always just wanted to find what I, what my style is. I've always just wanted to find out what my style is personally. So I think that's probably also what 2018 will be for me. Also, if anyone was wondering, I do not use a key, so that's why I didn't make one. I made one last year, and I think I used it for the month of January, and I never looked at it again. <laughs> so I'm doing the goals for 2018. I'm not going to fill it out yet, but I might share it on my bullet journal Instagram, at Sakura Journal, and that's also linked in the little card above in the scene. So another thing um, that I was kind of getting into last year, well at the end of the year that I want to get into more in 2018 are spiritual slash like self-help books thanks to the podcast called Your Own Magic. Um, they've been mentioning a lot of books lately so I've wanted like one place just so I can jot down all the books that they mention or that I come across and then I don't have scattered lists everywhere because I think I have about 30 screenshots and none of them written down. <laughs> Okay, and on to January. So here I'm just doing a cute windowsill painting of a snowdrop flower. Um, I found this potted image of a snowdrop flower on Pinterest, of course, and I decided to recreate it in watercolors. And I just wanted to put like it on a background of a windowsill, like a wooden windowsill with like a snowy look outside. And I chose the snowdrop flower because it's also one of January's flowers.
then on the right page, I have my monthly goals, a to-do section, events, birthdays, and a February at a glance. So these next two pages are very important to me. They are my monthly overview, spending tracker, and bill section. So I plan out my bill paying quarterly, so I'm very particular about this, um, but I just like to write down in the overview what day each of my bills are due for like a student loan, a credit card, my car loan, stuff like that. And then I figure out when my payday is and then just kind of figure out what bills should go to what paycheck, etc. So I plan it out every single month. Right now I'm doing it quarterly just so I can do it for a little while and then not have to think about when is my bill due, when am I getting paid, stuff like that. So it's very helpful if you just graduated college and you have bills or even if you're not in college or don't have um, student loans or anything, if you have any loans and you're working, I think it's very helpful. So lastly, this is my first week of January. So I'm going to try to plan out my outfits each week, that's what the section on the left is. Um, I used to do this last spring because it definitely is a struggle remembering what I wore that week, especially figuring out what I want to wear in the morning. Um, but my week is Monday through Sunday as you can see, and if you are wondering where my tracker is, I'm going to be doing it weekly as you see here. So yeah, that was my 2018 spread and January setup, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you all so much for a wonderful 2017, and I can't wait to see what this year has in store for us. And also, a little reminder, when I hit 500 subscribers, um, because that's kind of a big deal, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So right now I'm around 360 subscribers. So let me know in the comments um, what your bullet journal theme is for this year, what your goal is, and also what um, you would like to see as a giveaway prize. Because I'm not sure yet if someone would like a new journal or like a pen set or something. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments, give the video a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you're new of course. Um, and I'd love to keep talking to you guys. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful start to the new year. Bye!